What's up guys? It's Chris here and it's good to see you again after a few days. Um so today I'm going to be showing you how you know, to make this 80s kind of retro style typographic logo or design and I'll be teaching you how to you know, just apply you know, the basic effects they use here. You know, the gradient since you know, the past few videos has been on using gradients. You know, we're going to use the technique we've learned in the previous videos. We're going to apply them here in this style. So, looking at your screen, you can see that there's a gradient from here down to this place that's for like a uh, blue, a sky blue, kind of dark sky blue to white, and then from a very deep navy blue to the sky blue to white. And you can see also here that it's kind of like a demarcation and that separates these two gradients. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video, right? So, over here, you see. Uh, so over here you can see that I've used the same technique to create, you know, almost an identical feel to what we have here. So if you look at this, you can see we have a gradient from a light sky blue to white. You can see that here. And also from like a deep navy blue to sky blue and then also to white. And if you notice in this um design here there's kind of like a texture so we're going to be applying that also and you know just for fun I did something simple using the same font used for the for this all right so let's get right into the video all right so first off um we're going to create you know, our background just draw a rectangle here and let's fill it with our deep purple color which we have here Good. and what I want to do is I'm going to lock this object so um, it doesn't move about when I try to move things around so I click on the object and I lock it to a position um, put out our text um, let me see what text could we use retro let's use retro Okay, just change the color to white so we can see. I'll just change the font. Um, okay, I think let's use this. It's our Avengers font. Avenger, whatever that's called. Alright, All right, so first off, we're going to apply a gradient, which is from the blue down to white. So let's do that. So I click on the interactive filter and then apply dragging from up down. So what I want to do is to fill this top color, uh, kind of sky blue, and I want to move this up, holding shift down. Good. I think I like it this way. Right. So that's it. The so next off, we're going to create this demarcation you know, that we have here at the center and so how I do that is I use um, the Bezier tool here so I click on that I'm going to create that demarcation so the way the Bezier tool works is that you click you move to another point you click and then it draws a straight line to whatever point you move your mouse to so I'm going to be using this to create that demarcation you can see the way they have the zigzag lines here so let me make that All right so I click on the base here so then I want to create so I click here and I'll just move this up some by the way if you click and drag create a curve so let me do that here if you click and drag and see we have a call and release. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that up until 
put that back a little too. Don't like the way that looks. So <laughs> just create a zigzag line. Okay. Then I want to wrap it up here. Good. And I think you can feel it. Let's feel it white so you can see it. So I have the white zigzag line. So what we want to do is that we are going to apply this gradient which is from the dark purple to the sky blue down to white. I'm going to apply the, that gradient to this um, shape that we've made to my interactive field tool. <laughs> so click on the interactive field tool and we'll apply interactive field. Good. So I have a deep purple at the top, which is this. And to add another color to the selection, all, all you need to do is to double click on this line here. So I double click on it. I've had I've added another um, color. So with this, I can fill my light blue. That's good. So I want to move this up some white up some. Oh, good. I think I like this. I like it this way. Good. So next up, we are going to place this shape inside our text. And so how I do that is to power clip so I can write, drag into and release into the text. So what I did was to again write drag shape to the text and release then it gives me the option to power clip inside right so now it's power clipped i need to edit and then move this down into so white selected you see the, um, the power clip options here so i edit and so what we want to do is to you can see our shape here has an outline so we're going to take that away good then want to bring this down to the center just this more and move this up some and bring this down some more good i think i like the way it looks then i finish good you can see uh, we are beginning to have very similar shape very similar um, design right so um i think i don't like the way this uh, gradient inside looks so just go ahead and edit it a little bit So that's good. So we have a, a basic retro shape here. Oh, good. Now, so we want to create kind of like what we have here this background. So, what we can do is to duplicate this, Ctrl D. We have a duplicate text. And we should have done this earlier, but. We can remove the gradient we have inside so edit kind of like I remove it down so it doesn't show and I want to fill it a pink color then we could we can add a gradient to this just to make it look cool and put, put some blue on top um what I want to do I want to put it behind our text here so I can 
move that to the bottom by pressing Ctrl page down on my keyboard to move that back on. Then we have a retro kind of text. Um, so we can add the noise to this to give it some texture. So effect. Effect. Add noise. Now you notice that the add noise isn't possible, and that's because this no more is an ordinary text. We have it parked. So what we want to do is to flatten the effect. So I go to effect and flatten it, and now we convert it to a bitmap, and then I add. I can now add the noise. Good. You can see looking all beautiful. Let's see, we change our noise color to white. Well, the effect isn't seen as much, so let's make it dark. <laughs> Alright, then probably increase the level a little bit more. Good, good. That's it, guys. Our retro, literally, retro text effect. Um, if you like this video, um, please don't forget to like the video and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one